Morning friends, it's Jen. It's August 28th, I believe, or 29th. And I'm getting ready to head out to see the, go to the flea market. Hopefully the trailer man is there. And uh, see what kind of goods he brings us today. So let's get going. Okay, friends, so I'm back from the uh, flea market and I did pick up a few items. I didn't go overly crazy this time, um, but I did try to keep my eye out for some items that might be a little bit more, uh, a little bit higher of a profit than uh, usual. So let's get started and see what I got. Okay, so the trailer man um, charged me a dollar for my bag and I picked up nine items and let's get started. Okay, so I picked up this UC Berkeley sweat sweater. What is this, Rawlings? Uh, I almost didn't take it, but I thought, you know, maybe I'll keep it because um, it looks like, oh, it's a rustle. It looks like it needs the strings or the little pull through, pull through strings, which looks like they got yanked out. So I'm not sure. I mean, other than that, it's in pretty good condition. I mean, it's nice and blue still. It looks kind of faded in the uh, camera, but it's not faded. I don't know if it's the lighting or what it is, but it's not faded at all. It's a nice dark blue. And uh, I thought, well, if it, you know, if it doesn't sell, I can keep it for myself. I mean, my brother graduated from UC Berkeley, but this is definitely not his size. Okay, so that's the one thing I picked up, that UC Berkeley pullover. I think I'll try to put it on eBay and just put a note that the strings, there are no strings to that. And then I picked this up for my grandson Liam, Five Little Monkeys, cute little book. And so, uh, so he charged me a dollar for nine. So this comes out to about what eleven cents an item. So I picked up the little monkey book, and then I picked up these J. Jill linen pants. There we go, J. Jill linen pants, hundred percent linen. I think it's a cute little, uh, cute color. And then I found this from my grandson as well. Little Transformers, nice um, shirt. And then I am selling, a, oh boy, a menorah. I'm selling a menorah and uh, I found these candles. Tell she is Shiva, Israeli Chanukah candles. Assorted colors, huh? Oh yeah. Okay, so since Hanukkah's 
almost around the corner. I picked up these two boxes of uh, candles for the menorah. And uh, I'll go ahead and, you know, insert that with um, that menorah that I'm selling and just put that candles are included. And then I found these two uh, tennis rackets. And these rackets here, they're kind of going over $20. And I need to do some more research. I'm not sure if this is kind of vintagey or not, but I got to take double look on that one. So these ones could at least run minimum, at least a little, you know, $22 a piece, 11 cents a pop, not bad. And this one here is one of the big ones. I spotted this. It's a Briggs and Riley. Um, really nice. I looked it up on eBay and minimum these are going for like 60 bucks, 50, 60 dollars. Nice and leather. So, and it's pretty much clean inside. I mean, it needs, you know, needs to be cleaned, but I'm just talking pretty much clean as in there's no rips or tears of any sort. It just needs to be wiped down. And again, yeah, these are going for at least, mm, I think this is going for at least like, 60 to 70 dollars 50 let's just say between 45 and 70 dollars tops so yep and then so this was all here from the trailer man okay so last but not least as i was kind of heading out i was browsing through the um other vendors and i saw this from a you know short distance and i thought why is that wedding party you know why is that such a big deal in that case and then as I got closer to it I recognized Phoebe and I thought whoa wait a minute that's the friends people and when I went closer to it it was the friends collection so we have season one season two three Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Season ten, and uh, okay, so they're not in the greatest condition. However, it's still pretty reasonable, and it comes in this box, this little box set here, and. Uh, Yeah, so I looked this up, and the comps are pretty high on this one. Um, these things here are going anywhere between, I think, if I my memory serves me well, could be at least forty five. I think I saw one for nine. Was it ninety five dollars? Someone actually sold one for close to ninety five dollars. Um, there's must have been in really pristine condition. This one has some little nicks on it. And the covers aren't that great. Covers have some, uh, some little damage here. However, I'm still going to price it as high as I can and take a best offer and just see what that brings me. This here cost me $5. So I'm hoping to at least get at least over $40 for this, um, this set here. So that's it, friends. That's what I got today from the trailer man. Hardly any clothes. I'm kind of trying, trying, trying not to do so much clothes. Um, yeah, I just find that uh, dealing with the clothes, you know, you have to like wash them and you have to iron them and you have to measure them. And sometimes that gets monotonous to me and I get frustrated and like I don't want to deal with it. However, clothes have been um, selling not too bad for me. But with these type of items, and I'm trying to keep my eye out for things that yield in a higher price margin for a small amount of money. Um, I'm trying to keep my eye out open for that and trying to do like a more variety and maybe slowly trying to etch out of clothing. But uh, yeah, that's what I found uh, today at the flea market. Trailer Man was there. As I was approaching his trailer, there was like a swarm of people around his trailer. I mean, it seems like he gets he's like one of the main ones that gets a lot of uh, traffic in his area so 
in his trailer. Okay, friends, so that's it. I did go to the thrift store um, yesterday and the day before. Oh, I picked up a fanny pack. I don't know where I left it. But anyways, um, I don't know if I'll do another video on that one. However, this is my haul for today. I had a great time. I got out, got out of the house, went down to uh, the flea market, picked up some things, and just kind of, you know, moseyed around the uh, area. Okay, friends, so hopefully these items will kind of yield me some, you know, they'll sell fast and hopefully they'll yield me, you know, at least a good amount of money. And um, so keep your eye out for some of these items in your area. See what you can find and maybe you can yield some pretty good uh, money as well. And I will catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching and see you later. Bye.